Hello everyone, and welcome once again to Let's Play Arcanum, of flintlock pistols, kites that don't fly, and wolves that want to eat my face off. Last time we had uh, killed this guy in this black robe because he had come up and tried to kill us first. Apparently, someone is trying to um, kill anyone and everyone who came from the blimp. I don't know why exactly, but um, perhaps we will find out a little later. And, uh, once we do, hopefully it'll be something interesting. Looks like Verge is a little bit hurt there. I don't know if I can make him heal himself. What or is it that you want of me? I can say I'm in need of healing. Um. Yes, of course. What would you like me to do? Hmm. Nope. What is it that you want? I don't see anything that I can do to uh, to change how he acts. All right. Well, last time we had we had heard of um, this priest guy who uh, who apparently had uh, killed the ghost guy in the cave and is causing him major pain because he cursed him. So let's let's go ahead and see him before we check out. Uh, Shrouded Hills. This is much like the uh, the movement map in Fallout, where you can click on the uh, the map here, which I like, and it looks like it turns blue whenever you have this particular map available to you. Let's see here. I got a couple of headstones. This headstone is exquisitely carved with this message: Jamala, beloved wife and mother, and Saif beloved son. Hmm. So did this priest kill these people too, or what happened? I don't know. Well, the door appears to be locked. How does one get into here? I'm not sure. Hold on. Looks like a time of some sort. The current time is 5.45, possibly a.m. So... Maybe I need to advance the time somehow. Let's let's see here. Can I? Oh, here we go. Uh, four hours. That should that should do it, right? Ah, it's unlocked now. A bit of a blood stain here. I don't know about you, son. What is it I can do for you? Who might you be? The old wizard priest seems to be in some pain. I am Arbala, he winces. And you are? I am Frozen Foxy. Nice to meet you. Well, Frozen Foxy, what brings you to my humble farm? I've been sent here by Brago's spirit. He smiles. He's dead already? How sad. Has he sent you to finish what he did not? Already? Finish what he started? What are you speaking of? I am surprised his path ended so soon after he shattered mine. After I had offered them food and drink, he and his friend Farkas, I believe his name was, ransacked my house for whatever they could find. When they were finally found, or when they finally found my one object of value, a sacred holy artifact, they killed my family and left me for dead as well. So you cursed them? He winces in pain once again. I retired from the priesthood some years ago, but it was all I could think to do. In my pain and grief, their souls will never leave this plane of existence. And the curse of madness that caused Farkas to kill Brago? No, I believe that was the curse of greed. If I had to guess, Farkas decided that he didn't want to share the ill-gotten gains with anyone. Despicable people. Ah, <sighs> well, I'm sorry for your loss. You don't sound like the bad guy that, uh, Brago was talking about. Thank you for your kind words. But there is something else. I need to recover the sacred artifact they stole. It is very important to me. I need it to pray to my gods effectively. Did Brago say anything? Give any clue where it might be? No, he did not. 
He hobbles a bit closer to you. I know it is none of your affair, but could you assist me in trying to locate what is rightfully mine? I suppose it's the least I could do. Any idea where I should start? Excellent. Perhaps our friend the late Mr. Brago would have some information he could impart to you regarding the location of my sacred possession. He smiles at you warmly. I appreciate your kindness, though I regret I have nothing to give for your help. Oh well, doing a good deed is doing a good deed. I'll return when I have retrieved your property, sir. Alright, let's go talk to that Brago fellow. Let's see here, I would like to go back to the crash site. Alright, Brago. I need you to tell me where you've gotten off to, or where your friend has gotten off to with the stuff. Ooh, some more wine. Lovely. Alright. There's that cave again. Perfect. Well, hopefully nothing will come to attack me this time around, and I'll just be able to go straight to Brago. Please help me! The spirit appears to be in great pain once again. Please, I beg of you the pain. I had a conversation with Arbala. You are a liar, my friend. <laughs> but I almost had you killing him for me. <laughs> oh, the pain. Tell me where Farkas is. Why should I tell you that? I will still be here for eternity. I convinced Arbala to release you if you help me. Lie. You would, wouldn't you? If there's one thing about you noble types, it's that you do the right thing, even if it kills you. Very well. Anything to release from this pain. He points to a location on your map. Farkas is here. Thank you. By the way, I lied. You're going to rot here forever. Oh, no, I cannot. The pain. Please, I will haunt you. I will curse you, your loved ones. Please release me. No, I don't think so. Have you returned to taunt me further? Yes, it, it comforts me to know that you're still here, writhing in pain. No, please, the pain, the pain. Now ah, that's that's amusing, Brago. I'm glad that you're suffering. That's all that matters to me. You're a jerk. You deserve the suffering. All right. Let's see. Can we? No, we don't have the the map yet. I think the globe needs to turn blue before you can do that. So. You have to kind of be right on down here somewhere. We'll have our guys auto walk to it, and then I don't have to do any clicking. That's great. Here's some growling somewhere. Could be a wolf out there somewhere still. Faster, man! Faster! That blood spot is where the, uh, the guy attacked us. Yeah, because it seems to turn blue immediately after that location. Alright, let's go visit Mr. Farkas. Oh my god, it's a massive bear! Kill it! Kill it with fire! I've been seriously hurt, sir. Please help me. Wow, I'm surprised that we managed to live through that. You should probably heal yourself, bub. Well, I guess you don't have much uh, much left to heal yourself with. That thing was deadly. I wonder how my, uh, my character is doing so far. Getting close to being the next level. That was very dangerous. I'm surprised we lived through that. That bear almost got us. Oh well. I suppose it's time to move on to Mr. Farkas's place. Hopefully we won't, uh... Are you Farkas by any chance? What is the meaning of this? 
I would appreciate you addressing me with respect, sir. He screams and shields his face with his hands. Please, sir, don't hurt me. I'm sorry for any offense I've given. I am here for Arbala. You will return what is his, or you will die. He suddenly looks very unsure of himself. What what do you mean? I uh I have no uh idea what you're talking about. Now I'll grab you. This is your last warning, you spineless worm. Here, here it is. Please don't hurt me. He hurriedly hands you the artifact. Actually, I think I'll kill you just for the simple pleasure of it. You deserve to die. Die, you little bastard. That's the way to show those bastards I mean. Good hit, sir. There we go. We killed you, you little bastard. That's what you deserved. Wh where am I? The pain. Please, release me. You are dead. What? No! Yes. Oh, and you're cursed to be trapped here forever. Ah, no! Please, no! <laughs> ah, you little jerk. You deserve that. I can't sleep here. I have to find an inn to pay for bed? Well, that's worthless. I killed the guy who owns the place. Why can't I just use it now? Alright, well, let's go back to Obala's. We have his trinket now. That should be good enough. I'd like to see what his trinket looks like, though. Let's see here. There's my inventory. Kind of like an oil lamp or something. Not sure. Anyway. Let's go ahead and, uh... Go talk to our Bala. No, it's locked! What time is it? Six in the morning. Maybe two hours? There we go. Greetings, my brother. I have retrieved your artifact. Here it is. I thank you, as do the spirits of my ancestors. I must admit to having lied to you before, as well. He smiles kindly. I do have something to give you, something of immeasurable value. I bestow my blessing upon you. Everyone you meet will now react more favorably to you than perhaps they did in the past. You are most gracious. Thank you very much, Arbala. I appreciate it. We will be back in just a second. I am feeling rather parched suddenly. So I will return momentarily. Bye for now.